Nick Owen. Nick Owen, superb stuff. Actually, the way Nick went down the line there, it reminded me of Ann Diamond. <laughs> I thought he had a bad back, Greavesy. No, he's got two now, hasn't he? Well, Nick Owen hasn't played player, football, yeah. he was telling me beforehand, for quite a few years now, but he's been in training, he's been out running uh, a few miles and getting himself into shape for the game. Michael Lavelle from Coronation Street. He's a part of Kevin, the young mechanic, and uh, he's quite a keen footballer. And I remember playing against uh, Kevin earlier in the season. He's quite a useful player. Is he a bit quick? A bit quick for me, he was. Daley Thompson. I think that was uh, Greg Dyke. Incredible acrobatic overhead kick. There's a pace here from Chris Fenton. each way, remember? It started at quite a pace. It has, hasn't it? Oh, hello, there was a bit of class there. Who was that? Oh, Steve, Steve Crabb. Steve? Oh, Steve Crabb. Steve, as we were hearing early on, great Sunderland fan. He uh, plays one or two charity matches as well, too, uh, Steve Crabb. Yeah. Chris Quinton. More chance for Big Daly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, the crowd love that. The first goal of the game to Daly Thompson. Absolutely thrilled the bits. Took it well, actually, didn't he? Yeah. In from the angle. Can we fault Lloyd Annigan here? Or rather, can you fault well, Lloyd Annigan here, <laughs> He stood his ground, let's put it that way. And he dived rather late. And the wrong way. And the wrong way. But apart from that, I think we give all the credit to Daly. 1-0 then to Frostbirds. Again, he certainly got some pace. Not quite the finish that time. Hasn't got a lot of foot, has he? <laughs> he certainly went bursting through the middle. He did. Yeah, yeah. And he's ever enjoying this game as he enjoys everything that he does in sport. Daley Thompson. With Jimmy Tarbuck. Calling for support. And he's got it here from Nick Owen. He's a Luton Town fan. Labour cross. Chris oh. Quinton. Nick Owen was telling me beforehand he was a bit worried in case the class of this game put people off staying for the other match. Such might be the uh, the speed and ability they might see, but I don't think he's got too much to worry about so far. Uh, quite right, actually, Pete. Um, Half of them are so intent with this game, I'm not sure whether they realise there's another game afterwards. <laughs> all so keen on this. Well, there's no doubt beforehand that uh, they're going to take it fairly seriously. Well, there's a great deal of pride at stake here, isn't there? You could see everybody earlier on in the bar. They were really getting tensed up. It was quite wonderful to see it. And I said to Nick, if you miss, miss an open goal in front of 75,000 people, don't let it worry you, Nick. Know? <laughs> <laughs> he went somewhat white after that. Here's Daly again. The early star, without a doubt. This is Ray Winston. And the defence holding out. Steve Crabb. He said he'd be looking out for Daly. The beach agreed to let the other one come through. <laughs> Moro cool as ever there, wouldn't he? Should be Tarbuck losing out. Simon O'Brien. Now, Dennis Waterman. Just the one goal so far then, scored by Daley Thompson. They've raised a few above as well. Oh, they certainly have, yeah. yes. Peter, how do you think John Bond would see this game as, if he was a commentator? Well, I, I, I think it's terribly, terribly sad saying that I'm not manager of one of these two sides. I, I think if I was manager and my boy Kevin was captain, I think we'd have a magnificent side. I, I really do. <laughs> Bondy won't like me for doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Here comes Daley Thompson. Does look, he looks a good player, doesn't he, Daly? Ray Winston. 
Neaton who won two, now can Daly finish? John Burt was in the way! Pat Daly with his second goal. And the smile on his face says it all. That was some bully there, wasn't it? Well, he really got hold of that slow one. Let's analyse this. There's, there's John Burke getting yes. in the way, and Daly. Oh, my God. And Lloyd Hannigan, not too close to that one, Jimmy. No, no, he wasn't. I don't think many keepers would have been too close to that one. Well, that's Here we the are. First is, half. This is the now, rest Lloyd's, period. Lloyd's coming out now. Lloyd's coming on the field. No. Lloyd, uh, an Arsenal supporter, he said he hasn't played football for a long time, but he follows the game quite closely. This is the rest period, or for some of them, it's the cardiac <laughs> rest period. <laughs> Steve Davis is going on goal here, Peter. Yes. Obviously, Steve I think his height over. might help. He certainly is a tall lad, and he's taken over the jersey there, as we can see. As uh, Jack Taylor starts the second half. Tarby's gone up into his push disc role now. <laughs> Steve Cram spreading the play well, and here's... Lloyd Hannigan with his first touch as an outfield player. Not a very positive one, I'm afraid. Off goes Daly. Another anxious clearance by Steve Davis, which could have sent his colleagues in trouble. And Ray Winston almost getting a decisive touch. Has Frosty touched the ball yet? Um, is he out there? Seen. I don't know. He let... Oh, there he is, yes, there he is. Playing the general's role, I think it is. Yeah. Well, it's difficult to plan the tactics and play as well, isn't it? <laughs> I think it is in his case. Ray Winston. How would Mick Shannon have commentated on this then, uh, Peter? Well, yeah, you know, I, I thought it was great. You know, I mean, the Econ flying down the wing, got in a scything tackle, crossed it over, and that Gary Linny Looney Linny Looney Ernie 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 Ernie, Ernie Aker, he, he knocked it in, you know, and I, I thought it was great. <laughs> Actually, Mick isn't out there at the moment. He's probably listening to this. Bobby Moore. Oh, oh, the old oh, artistry. Oh, what a lovely ball. Now, Jimmy Tarbuck. To play by Simon O'Brien. Hey, we better give Greg Dyke a mention. He's our new boss at London Weekend Television. I think he's been the best player on the field so far. <laughs> the dummy then for Without David Dust. Nick Owen. There he is. There he is, the best player on the field. Yes. Best yes. looking as well, I think, John. Oh, he is, definitely. <laughs> Michael Lavelle. There could be danger here. The uh, Tottenham team survive. Here's Daly again. Brown is certainly warming to his every touch. Two goals so far from Daly Thompson. Peter, how would uh, someone like John Arlott describe the game? I think we've seen players here today of poise and purpose. And I think it's fair to say that no one would question the player's ability, nor for that matter would they mention it. Thompson with the throw. Yes. I bet he's got a long throw too. He's a bit too long, really. It's definitely the, the man. Do you want to uh, mention Greg Dyke again at this stage? Uh, no, we leave Greg alone. Uh, oh, look at that. That was, was professionalism. <laughs> Coming from an amateur, that was professionalism. Lloyd <laughs> Hannigan beaten for pace by Daly Thompson. Here's oh, Greg Dyke. Here's Greg. Oh, brilliant ball. Oh, Greg. Oh, oh, Bobby Moore. Still knocks it about, isn't he? Okay, playing it into space and finding Jimmy oh. Tarbot. Now, can he finish here? Well, it's a good shot, Jim, but. There was a chance for Dennis Waterman. Behind for a goal kick. I think they're coping with the pace, Jimmy. Have you seen any pace yet? Well, no, that, that's why they're coping with it very well. Uh, oh, here it comes Steve again Pratt. now. Uh, oh, nice little uh, hospital ball there by Tarver. <laughs> there's your pal Greg Dyke. Yes. Did well again then, Jimmy, didn't he? Yes, he did remarkably well, did Greg Dyke. New boss of London Weekend Television. <laughs> very well. Not at all. 
Sky Blues have looked the better side Lloyd over this last couple of minutes or so, but uh, I think throughout it's Daley Johnson's team who've... Uh, oh, I, I think the... Uh, certainly looked on top. Yeah, the cross spurs on the team. Here comes Ray, Ray Winston. Winston, good cross there. Bad luck, Dennis. Maybe he pulled a muscle there. Steve Crabb. Certainly stepped up again in the second half, haven't they? Woody up with the clearance. Here's a part of Ian Beale in EastEnders. Well, I must say, I've been disappointed with the captains, Peter. <laughs> you know, I feel they could have done more. David Frost and Jimmy Tarbuck with planning the tactics in the bar beforehand. Yes. And there's Frost what ways have you been disappointed with their contribution? Yes, and there's Tarbuck, yeah. live at the Palladium, knackered at Wembley. Look at this. <laughs> uh, he said actually playing today was as big a thrill as presenting the uh, Palladium show. I think for everyone uh, out there, it is a great chance and opportunity in life to be out there playing on the famous turf. And... I mean, he's talked about nothing for weeks, you know, Tarbuck. He's <laughs> been playing in this game. He loves it. He's still talking about it. Chris Quinton. Chris. Show one or two nice touches. He does, he does so on the field as well, doesn't he? Got some <laughs> space to exploit here. John Burke with the clearance. Straight back to Chris. John Burke's not been the same player since he left on the weekend, has he? <laughs> Did you leave on a free? <laughs> yes, he got a free. Has to go. Anything you've seen so far to worry the, the teams for the real match to well, follow? I, I, the thing that's amazed me is that Moro's volunteered to play in a, a side that's advertising non-alcoholic lager. <laughs> We've got another break on now. Oh, Dennis, Dennis Taylor. Going to try and put the black here if he's not careful. Go on, then. Measured pass. Interesting clearance. It's now John, John Burt. And it's just about gone in. They pulled a goal back. John Burke will claim the glory. Yes, I'm afraid he will, won't he? That's, that stymied things a bit, isn't it? And we can see it rather trickles in. Yeah. With the goalkeeper stranded. I think it was a deflection. Yeah, it's a goal. A deflection. Yeah, put that one down yeah. to a 2-1. They're back in the game. But not for long because there is indeed the final whistle. And victory. By two goals to one for the Whites. Daley Thompson with those two splendid goals. Well, the second one was out of anybody's repertoire, wasn't it? It was a marvellous goal goal. Now the players have clearly enjoyed themselves immensely today. It's victory for the Tottenham Frostbirds. Steve Davis. Look rather exhausted, but uh, it's quite warm out there at the moment, Jim, isn't it? I think Actually, it is interesting on a serious note to see how warm it is, although these are completely out of conditioned individuals that we're looking at. Uh, it looks as though it's, it's going to be a bit warm down there for the big match. Uh, as everybody seems it's warm and it's sunny, and there's Frosty getting a tan. You'll have to stay out there for about six months to get it. But Do you think he was right to sunbathe during the game, though? Oh, they're going up up to, to the yes, they've got a trophy. It's the Calibre Challenge trophy to be presented by Ronnie Corbett, no less. There he is, president of the Lord's Tavernus. Actually, he was playing that harp during the game, huh? <laughs> Keep himself amused. Daley Thomas, Thompson, the hero. Chris Quinton. Dennis Waterman. Ronnie, who does an awful lot of work, doesn't he, on behalf of the Tavernus. Hard was to see him here today. It is actually, yeah, he's, he's a lovely man. And, uh, it's nice to see him giving the old prizes out. Crystal Palace fan, I think, isn't he? Is it? Oh, he's the one, is he? He's the one. Ah. Yeah. I think he might have been out there today, looking at uh, the pleasure he's clearly got from being here. And there's Jimmy Tarbuck, captain of the losing side. Lloyd Hunnigan, I can see there. There's your pal Greg Dyke in the background. Yes, Greg Dyke, new boss. Any thoughts on the Man of the Match award, uh, Jimmy? Uh, well, apart from Greg Dyke, yeah. uh, I suppose Daley Thompson would win it, really, uh, for two superb goals. 
Uh, I mean, particularly the second one, Peter, which, as I keep harping on about, well, what can I say? Because it is a funny old game. But he did catch it on the old buddy Ollie a bit sharpish, didn't he? <laughs> what can you say? Barry of EastEnders, who featured late on in the second half, I noticed. It. One or two substitutions made at uh, odd intervals, weren't they? Well, it was an odd sort of game, really, Pete, wasn't it? 